We've all done it. Whacked our elbow on something and thought, once we've stopped cursing, ouch, that's going to bruise. But what exactly is a bruise? Bruising results from a mishap between your body and, well, something else. When you bump into something, you can damage the little vessels under the skin, causing blood to leak into the surrounding tissues. And this process causes the characteristic black, blue, purple, and subsequently yellow or greenish appearance. But why the rainbow of colors? It's all part of the healing process. Now, because we doctors like to make things complicated, we talk about not just bruises, but also contusion, hematoma, and even ecchymosis. What? I hear you cry. <laughs> Let me explain. Bruise, contusion, ecchymosis are actually essentially the same thing. Hematoma, on the other hand, is more than just a bruise. It's a collection of blood under the skin or in another tissue. Not so good. Now, we all bruise from time to time, of course, and it is true that women tend to bruise more easily than men because their blood vessels are a little more delicate. Aspirin, anti-inflammatories, and even some antidepressants are also risks for more easy bruising. But, and here's the serious doctory bit, if you ever find unexpected bruises, particularly in an unusual place like on the back, that could be a sign of something serious, so go and get it checked out. There are many myths about how you can prevent or treat a bruise. And one is pineapple, which does actually contain an enzyme called bromelain, which may be good in helping prevent bruising. Contrary to what your mum may have told you, though, rubbing a bruise with toothpaste or a boiled egg will not help. Sorry, mum.